Okay, I know we do this in class, but I've had a couple of students ask me about creating Hyper-V virtual machines. So I wanted to go ahead and throw the or put this together and throw it out on YouTube just so we can reference back to it when we need to. All right, so this is in Hyper-V. Now remember you can do this if you have um if you have Windows 10 Professional, if you have Windows 10 Home or something else, you're going to need to use uh, VirtualBox or VMware Player or something like that. Um, we'll get to that later. But assuming that you have Hyper-V, uh, it does not come pre-installed on Windows 10. Um, so you'll need to go into your uh, Add Windows Features and add Hyper-V there, reboot your computer. And when it comes up, you can open up Hyper-V Manager. In fact, let me real quick close out of here. And we're just going to open this up and we're going to go to, uh, I'm going to search for Hyper-V Manager. We'll do it faster and easier. So I search for Hyper and here is Hyper-V Manager desktop app. Um, all right. And then once I'm here, I'm going to create a new virtual machine. So I'm going to click on new virtual machine over here. Before you begin, yeah, we don't care. All right, specify the name and location. So you're going to set the name. So I'm going to call this one Video Demo. Um, normally, you don't want to store the machine in a different location, so you're fine there. Just set the name and click Next. Specify Generation. Now, for a lot of what we're doing, you're going to need to do Gen 2. Um, both of them, either one will work. Both of them will support 30, well, Gen 1 will support 32 and 64-bit operating systems. Um, and if you're going to send this VM to something, to an older version, you're not going to do that. But this is something we need to keep, uh, be aware of in uh, virtual environments where we do a lot. But at home, you're not going to have this problem. So what you're probably going to want to do is set this to Gen 2. Now, once you do this, it cannot be changed. Just be aware of that. All right, assign memory. Um, I normally like to start, if I'm doing a client, uh, so Windows 10, I'll sometimes start out with a gig of RAM, so that's 1024. If you're doing a server, you might want to bump that up to 2048, which is 2 gigs of RAM. If you have this used dynamic memory for this virtual machine, what it means is that it will add or subtract virtual memory as needed. So I like to leave that checked when I'm creating a virtual machine. Then if I'm using something or doing something that's going to take a little bit more, I can get access to it. All right, configure networking. Now, you can. this is where you can connect this to a switch. Um, and you can create a virtual switch. And we'll go over that in another video. Um, but you can click your drop down and select a virtual switch or just leave it as not connected. That's actually not going to be a problem. We can come back and add that in later on. So connect a virtual hard disk. Most of the time, you're going to create a virtual hard disk. So that's this one right here. Give it the name it actually defaults to the same as the machine name, location, size, okay, all that's fine. Occasionally, you're going to want to use an existing virtual hard disk. And for that, you'd click here. Use an existing virtual hard disk, browse, find the hard disk that you want. You probably don't want to run it off a flash drive. If you copied one for one of your contracts onto a flash drive, copy it onto your hard drive before you try to use it. And then you find it, select it, and click open. In this case, I want to go ahead and do a create a virtual hard disk. And click next. Now, install an operating system. This is the other thing. If you've copied over an ISO file, and this, if you do it off a of flash drive, it's okay. Uh, it's going to run a little bit better if you copy that ISO file up to your hard drive. But we're going to install from a bootable image and then click browse. Now, I have put a bunch of stuff in the C drive installs folder. And so I'm going to find the, let me find Windows 10. I'm going to find the ISO file that I want. And that's just basically the CD copied into a single file. And click open. And then next, this gives me a summary and finish. And at this point, I have created a virtual machine. Now, I haven't installed it yet. I've just created it. So to actually start it up, I'm going to double click on it and then click start. Technically, by the way, if you don't want to connect to it, you can right click and start too. But this is just a little bit easier for me. Press any key to boot from CD. Yep. And now we are off and running with our virtual machine, provided, of course, that I actually got to it fast enough. Okay, so that's a real quick overview of how to create. Hey, there we go.
how to create a virtual machine. And remember, we've done this in class, uh, or if you're looking at this before we've uh, gotten to it, we will do this in class. And Hyper-V is what we use here on campus, but um, it is available if you're running Windows 10 Pro for you to do homework assignments and homework projects in. So this gives you a real quick overview. We'll do another video, maybe a couple of more videos here on creating virtual switches and working with uh, virtual machines. And this is hopefully just enough to get you started with working on some of your um, homework assignments that need to be done inside a virtual environment.